Greetings. Happy Halloween. This is Pennywise taking over Karen's channel for the Halloween collaboration. Let's throw some paint. Good evening, ghouls and boys. It's uh, Karen. You know that. It's late night pouring. It's 2.02 a.m. And I'm going to do a little Halloween pour without orange because I'm feeling like a rebel. And I'm going to do a sandwich pour. Normally sandwich pour has white on the bottom and then the colors and then a whole bunch of white on top. But this time, this is an experiment, crazy experiment, because I'm going to do white on the bottom, then the colors and black on top. And then we'll flip it. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. None. Um, colors for this adventure. This is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in black. This is an old bottle from 2019, so it's the good stuff. We also have, and I'm worried about it, the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in white. It's a new bottle, and I don't know why they changed their formula when the last version was so good. But we'll see how that goes. And then for colors, we have three Liquitex Basics. We have a bright aqua green. We have yellow green. We have um, a purple prism violet. And then we have a Pebeo Studio Acrylics in iridescent precious gold. So. As long as I remember to keep the purple away from the black, I should be okay. This is just my glue and water pouring medium mix, 65% Elmer's glue all, 35% water. I mix it up in my quart container. So if I'm gonna make 20 ounces, I do, I think it's 13.7, ounces of Elmer's glue wall and then the rest up to 20 ounces of water. Give it a good mix. One to one ratio and then a little cup of water to add little dribs and drabs to get the consistency the same across. I like my paints a bit on the thick side. So definitely, can you see, I don't know if you can see that. Leaves a mound on the mound. Lasts a good second and a half before it disappears. I also broke out my spot on treadmill silicone. It was buried. Oh, I just cleaned it off too. Cause it was gross. I already got paint on it. This stuff here, we're gonna add three drops in the colors. Maybe four in the purple. There we go. We'll give that a mix. One. I'm not gonna put it in the black or the white, just in the colors. Two. Actually, I changed my mind. I think I'm gonna put some in the black. That's a big cup. I'm gonna do like five drops. Three, four, five. Just gonna fold it in. You don't wanna beat it in too much because it'll break up. So there's the black. Do the aqua. And the yellow green. Okay, so before we get started, I have, I hope you guys can hear me. I'm trying to talk softly. Um, I'm leaning really close to my phone. I have um, a cup and a half of leftover paint that was on my tarp that I've been saving. Um, I'm just gonna pour this down. It was like, I don't remember what colors it was, but it made like this light purple. So I figured if this shows up, it'll be okay. Um, because when I flip, I'm gonna make sure the black is on the bottom. So I'm just gonna take this and use this as a base to help the paint slide around. 
Oh, there's a little bit of white. I'm gonna kill that off there. And then I have like a little bit left in this cup too. Waste not, want not. We'll just use this and cover up. This is a 16 by 20 um, Arteza canvas. And I'll pop those bubbles. This is kind of thick too. I probably should have put some water in it. Slide this all around for a second. I'm gonna pop those bubbles. I'm gonna smear this on the corners. There we go. Wipe off my fingers. And let me pop some bubbles in this. of these I might do this and then a small cup or maybe two big ones we'll start with this I'll just stick it in there and we want the black on the bottom so we're going to start with the white so that when we flip the black will be we'll put the black on top so we're going to make a sandwich so a bunch of white it's a good ounce and a half of white paint right there. And then to start layering colors. So let's start with the purple. I kind of want the colors to um, mix up a little bit so I don't want to cover everything. So we'll do the purple. Green. Little wiggle of gold. Yellow green. Mm, I feel like I need to use more paint than that though. Let's start over now and thicker layers. Purple again. Do definitely do more gold. And what am I missing? The green. The yellow green. And I want to save enough for a small cup in case I need it. Three. Four. And then we're going to top this off with the black. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> well, that's a lot of black too. So there's that cup. We'll just leave it sit there. And then I think I'm going to do a little one just to have it. So this one I'll go quick and just kind of hold it and go. One. Let's change up the order. Let's put the purple and the gold together.
This kind of reminds me um, when I used to do the black and white plus three series, except that's not how I layered the black and white and I have four colors instead of three, but. I'm gonna change up the order again. Two. Three. Four. And then the black. This is gonna be, I've never done this before. So move some things out of my way. We're just going to keep this to the side in case I need it. We're going to go ahead and flip this one. And I should have like a lid or a piece of paper to do this, do I? Let's see. I have this. So cover it all? Barely. No, I'm just going to go for it. One, two, three. That's okay. I'll leave that be. And give that a second. Tap on the messy top bottom. I'm just going to lift straight up. You guys ready? <laughs> I almost want to poke a hole in it to have it release. But maybe I'll just lift up a little. Get some air under there. Oh, and the black still showed up. With the white. And I don't like that. what that white's doing. Hmm. We'll see how that plays out. And gosh, I hope colors show up underneath there. I think I am going to put this other cup on this right there. And while that sits a minute, I'll be right back. I want to um, wear gloves. All right, let's do this one. Maybe I make lines through it. I wasn't going to, but since the white was already there, I'm happy to see that there's hardly any cells. That's a good thing because I want to dictate where they go. This is going to make a mess. Let me uh, move things off my counter. As much as I grouse about um, having to paint in my kitchen, I got to say, you know, it forces me to be neat. And I always have to clean up. Um, but I do have a ton of counter space, which is super nice because I can just turn around and have another counter right there to put things on. So let's see if opening this up um, brings out the cells. And there's plenty of paint and I want a lot of paint um, for this technique so that I can dictate the uh, composition. I'm gonna come off this corner. Kind of interesting with the white. Kind of a weird sandwich pour, right? I'm gonna take that purple off there. Got a whole bunch of white cells popping up. Very spacey looking so far. 
I wanted to keep, ooh, look at that green coming across the top. That's kind of cool. Huh. Let's stop right there. And put it down. I don't like this, and I don't like this. Everything else, though, is kind of interesting. Kind of surprised by the white cells. I really am. So let's let's chicken torch just to see what the cells and everything look like. So we'll just do like a side over here. Get some aqua green cells and some purple cells. I'm gonna go in the black. Kind of interested to see. I don't want too too many. Some in there. Kind of come up high and then come in. Just get a sprinkle in the middle. Oh, this is amazing right there. Ooh, I hope I didn't do that too. I got a little too close right there. Let me take that. Look at this. That's awesome. I don't like the white. Like, I wish I just had this stuff. We'll see what we can do. Maybe minimize them and take some of them off. Let's put, let's have this go all the way across right there. Let those grow a little bit. And I think I'm gonna stop with the torching, yeah? Maybe some real quick, just like right there, just a sprinkle. And I think this is going to get tilted off, but we'll put some right there as well. All right. Let's try to minimize this and this and get rid of this one big cell. And then maybe get rid of this. I think it's very interesting looking. So. I'm kind of glad I um, put the lip of my cup through it. So I should have plenty of paint to play with. So I should be able to rock this back and forth and come over my way and just take some things off. Like that one big cell. A little bit more. So that's, uh, like that little part can stay on. That doesn't bother me. And let's kind of take it down a little bit. Slide things down. Try to take off some of the white cells. It's very planetary to me. Really interesting. I feel like I was rusty with the torch because I did clusters and so they're all kind of grouped together, um, which can be a cool effect, but that was, that was unintentional. This is hella cool, y'all. Um, I'm going to grab a skewer just to see how much paint is left. I love the background. I don't think I want to add any more cells because I like being able to see the background. I'm almost sorry that the cells went into like this Saturn ring. Like that would have been cool playing, but you know, what are you gonna do? The clusters are cut color are cool. Let me grab this um a little skewer. Because I had that base paint on it too. It's not too bad. I'd like to lose a little bit more. Just a little. I like my composition. So I think what I'm going to do. I even like. 
soccer. I even like my bikini corners. Um, I think I'm just gonna take off a little bit on my side and then leave it. So I'm not sure it says Halloween, but I think it's hella cool. Um, and like I said, I'm really surprised by the white cells. So let me take just like a smidge off if I can. I think I can, I think it'll move. Just to get rid of a little bit of the black area where there's no cells at all. And kind of just let things slide. If my cells look like they're gonna start losing their shape, we'll go back. Oh, I managed to lose that one little piece all the way. Oh yeah, see that opened it up a bit. So even though it has clusters, um, I lost a lot of stuff on my edges. Let me see how that looks. Yeah, see that's better there. I like how this is all just plain. I would love to lose a little bit of this cluster. Although maybe not, it's kind of cool. This has got to be one of the most interesting pieces I've done, I swear. The other thing I want to show you guys when I get you down for a close-up is um, in a lot of areas, because I did the black and the white, this whole section here and here looks very, very 3D because it is it has a subtle line of black around all of these cells all the way around so they really do look like they're floating on top of the background so i'm just going to go that way straight a little bit if if these roll off great um it's more to like straighten out some of these cells but if things get wonky i'm stopping because um i'm super super thrilled with this like super thrilled And that cluster isn't that bad anyway. So let me go the other way. See, everything is slowed down. No, I'm gonna keep it because this way it looks nice and open. Let me check with my skewer. The, oh, I thought I lost it. It's right here. Let me see, I'll wipe it off. Oh yeah, see, it's thin now. Ta-da! I am, oh, that one so in the middle of the white is adorable. Let me um, clean up my fingers and uh, get you guys down for the uh, cosmic, <laughs> not very Halloween-y. I just didn't feel like orange, what can I tell you? I just didn't, <laughs> um, poor, so yeah, hold on one sec. Okay guys, I left this uh, right where it was because I'm gonna take it downstairs and put it under a cover to dry. I'm hoping it's dry um, by the time this video premieres on Sunday. It's Friday night, so it'll be close. Um, if not, I'll have to show the dry results in the next video. But let me just show you, there's just so much cool stuff to look at. Starting off with these white cells, with each of them have like one little dot in all of them. I don't know what that's about, but it's interesting. And then these cells here, see what I mean about the black line running um, through everything, like on the edges of all the cells, like right here, they look like they're floating. You see the black? And even though the cells are crowded, they're not caterpillars, they're all separated. It's just that I got a little too close for the torch. This almost looks like a cloud pour there. And then I love how it they all change colors too. So all the colors are represented. You got the um, multiple rings and then it changes color. And like the line, that black line just really makes everything look like it's floating, doesn't it? It's so cool. Um, I'm gonna have to try this again for sure. I don't know if I could do it again, but worth a shot. This is the middle section. So I poured off most of those black cells. 
So it's got a little wonky here on the edge, but that's okay. That doesn't bother me. Um, got some gold cells here, right smack in the middle. And I just love the whole background. A couple little light purple cells that popped up from the base. And that could be why parts of this almost look like a pearl pour. Like those white cells there, aren't they? They're like cool. And then like this ring up here, I adore that with a little bit of color on the edge. And then over here is like another cluster. And then all the way around, it has that black ring around the cells. So everything, that's the cluster I was thinking I was trying to uh, pour off, but that's okay, it gets to live. Just, let me turn it. Let me not drop my phone into it. But the way everything floats, that is hella cool. Hella cool. So there it is. I hope to be back with the dry re results. If not, uh, I'll just be saying goodbye. But so yeah, for now, nighty night, y'all. Bye. Uh, so much fun Bye. to clown around. I hope you enjoyed Pennywise taking over the channel. We hope to see you in Texas for the Fluid Art Experience. Karen will show dried results next time. Peace out.